All Saints. Comments, Jason? Mama said, if I had nothing good to say, don't say anything at all. Good evening, I'm Kelly. Welcome to Goose Pond Cottage Studios. This is... Jason. <laughs> <laughs> I keep forgetting we have that longer opening now. <laughs> but welcome to the Goose Pond Studios, yes. And we are Cottage... Goose Pond Cottage <laughs> Studios. Sorry, Studios, and we are <laughs> craving cinematics. Ha ha, ha 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 ha. Okay. So, Kelly, yes. what movie did we go see tonight? All Saints. And? Well, you notice I still have my jacket on because we didn't stay in the movie theater long enough for me to take my jacket off. No, and in fact, I was supposed to ask her why she didn't take her jacket off, so he I failed. He totally blew I our blew opening. That. Sorry. <laughs> anyway. But listen, this is going to be the yes. funniest part of this whole review because besides that, there is nothing funny yeah, about we're, this. Yeah, we're actually trying to keep you entertained and maybe here a little longer watching our video because we yeah. were in the movie for... 20 minutes maybe yeah, yeah it was uh, okay so we reviewed all saints which actually seemed to have a pretty good premise it did um That's why we chose it <laughs> right and um it was a, a christian and based christian and inspired yeah film. yeah christianity inspired film yeah but Modern. pure flicks okay yeah it's a sony it's a sony um sub sub yeah production company there we go okay Yes, called Pure Flix. Pure Flix. Pure Flix. Okay. And they do strictly Christian type movies. Um, they did. Uh, I want to say they did God's Not Dead. Okay. And God's Not Dead too, but um, they did this All Saints movie, and they probably shouldn't have done this movie. No, um, I didn't really recognize any of the actors or actresses in it. Um, Which isn't a problem. No, no, uh, but. That may have gotten more people into the theater, because otherwise it just wasn't uh, it just wasn't a good movie. It was such a horrible start uh, to a movie. We actually just got up and left. We did, um, and, I, and I felt bad about doing that because I have actually never left a movie before. This is the first, and I did twice, but it was way back in the '90s. I left Evita and Batman and Robin. I don't feel bad about either one of those still. Anyway. <laughs> And, and, you know, it wasn't just the actors, you know, not knowing who the actors were. That, that, that's not a problem for no. me. Actually, I like to sometimes see new up-and-coming actors and actresses in a movie. Um, it was basically the, the it, oh, just everything. The <laughs> dialogue was contrived. The characters were cookie-cutter. And I know I've used that before, but the and not even not even the good sugar cookie cookie-cutters. They were like the you know by the role they were of cookie as cutter, burned and know. horrible as the cookies that the wife made in the movie yeah they tried to, oh gosh it was the sound is horrible the the, the storyline the dialogue the everything it was y'all this is going to be a short review it was just bad so bad yeah we're i think we're just going to cut it short here it we it could try to entertain you yeah. and be funny and all yeah. but no there's no just this isn't, no. We're not going to say that you're not going to like it, but we are going to say that we're not even going to rate it because we got up and left in 20 Yeah, and, and so it wouldn't be fair. It, you know, God forbid. Um, no pun intended. <laughs> no pun intended, but it may have gotten better, but after 20, 15, 20 minutes of it, we just looked at each other and said, time to go home. Let's go to pizza and get a pizza. Not that we were judging. No. The beginning of the movie, essentially, this pastor, reverend, priest, what in well, the Episcopal Church, what is? I don't know. Pastor. Pastor. The pastor. Yeah, pastor. I feel so uneducated right now. I'm so sorry. Um, the pastor was brought in essentially to use his business skills to Close get rid of the, the church, church. Um, and you had a congregation that was upset about that. And basically, it starts off putting everything on the defensive. There's, it's just, it, it's not a yeah. good start from the movie. And it just didn't get better. So, all right. So we made this a little longer than you're going to. So, but anyway. Anyway, Pure Flix, you know, I appreciate what you're doing. Um, Christian films in general, if you're going to make it and, and keep an audience, 
and, and this is coming from me, a pastor, um, you got to step up your game. You've got, you, you've got to step up your game. Uh, you've got to hold the people's interest. Uh, you, you, you've got to make good movies if people are going to come in to see them. That's just where I fall in there. And again, I, we can't rate it because we didn't stay. Right. That would be unfair. Wrong. Well, okay. We'll go with that so too. Anyway, um, you know, th th there's films like God's Not Dead, God's Not Dead 2 that I absolutely loved in the Christian genre. Uh, they were good movies. They, 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 there was action. There was time, you know, and stuff. All right. I like the Ten Commandments. Ben Hur. Right. Those there's, are good too. There's several. There's several good Christian movies out there, but Christian genre movies, as a general, y'all got to step up the game. All so. right. And that's Kelly's last word. I'm Jason. I can't say my name because. He said it was my last word. Well, you can say this last part. I'm Kelly. And we are creating cinematics. Y'all have a good evening. Be kind to one another. Bye-bye.